Someone asked me to draw the Lewis structure for HC2 minus, so let's do it. We need to count the valence electrons first before we draw the Lewis structure for this HC2 minus ion here. So hydrogen, that's in group one on the periodic table. It's gonna have one valence electron. Carbon's in group 14, sometimes called 4A. It has four, and then we have those two carbons. This negative up here means we have an ion, it'll be an anion. That means we have one extra valence electron. We add these up, 1 plus 8 plus 1, 10 total valence electrons for HC2 minus. So let's put our two carbons up here. And hydrogen always goes on the outside, so it'd be on this side or this side. really doesn't matter. Let's put the hydrogen here, and let's move this up some. So we have a total of 10 valence electrons for the HC2 minus Lewis structure. We'll put a pair of electrons between atoms. This is what gives us our chemical bond here. Then we'll complete the octets. So hydrogen, it has two electrons. That's all it needs. It has a full outer shell. Carbon, we need to put eight around each carbon. Let's put these carbons on the outside. And we've already used two, four, six, eight, ten. So we're out of valence electrons. This carbon has eight. It's good, but this carbon only has four. So what we can do is share electrons from this carbon here. So if we put two here in the middle, we form this double bond. This carbon now has eight, and this carbon has six. So we're getting close. Let's move another pair to the middle. So now we have a triple bond, and I like to put this one up here. Looks nicer. So this is the Lewis structure for HC2 minus. We have eight valence electrons for each carbon, and the hydrogen has two. We've used all 10 valence electrons. Because this is an ion, we do need to put brackets around it. Then we'll put a negative sign out here. So that's the Lewis structure for HC2 minus. If you're interested in the molecular geometry, this would be linear because of this triple bond here. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.